Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Tonight I want to talk about Ash vs. Evil Dead. Now the series aired on the Stars Network and it lasted three seasons. Um, it is a direct continuation of the Evil Dead movies and there's three with Bruce Campbell and then there's another one that's in the same universe but about a, a girl instead, I think, or something like that. But, um, anyway, uh, the show takes place directly after the, the original first three. And <clears throat> they did not lose the spirit of, Ash, of Evil Dead when they did the show. And I actually think that it's actually better than the movies because... They put so much effort, not that they didn't put enough effort into the Evil Dead movies, but what I'm saying is is that it's um, more updated. It's the same actors, just updated. Uh, same creators of, you know, the same creators that did Evil Dead and Ash vs. Evil Dead also did Xena, the Warrior Princess, and Hercules, the Legendary Journeys, and Spartacus. And the first Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire. So, I mean, they're excellent creators um, that make really great content. It sucks that Ash vs. Evil Dead only lasted three seasons. They should have ended at four if they were going to end because the third season ends off with such a... <coughs> Sorry, with such a cliffhanger. Um, but they put so much, um, so much effort into, well, now the series finale, but the season three finale of Ash vs. Evil Dead. I mean, the special effects were amazing. Um, I mean, yeah, Bruce Campbell, you have. Oh my god, Lucy Lawless came back for this show. Like, hello, crazy, awesome. I mean, she's amazing in anything, so that's no surprise. I mean, she was in Spartacus, she's in Ash vs. Evil Dead, and she's had a little cameo in the first Tobey Maguire Spider Man movie. Um, and she's amazing. She'll always be amazing. And that's no surprise. So, And she's still as beautiful as ever. Um, and she really brought a lot of heart and soul to her character, Ruby. And, well, her multiple characters. Uh, but I highly recommend the show. It has a lot of action. It's not... Uh, limited like regular shows because it did air on the Stars Network so it had more freedom to be more gruesome and gory um, the Deadites were more scarier in this show than they were in the original movies and <clears throat> they just did a really excellent job with it so it's really sad that they couldn't continue with it because they really did have a really solid story. They had an obvious solid cast. Um, the special effects were solid for TV. Um, and it, it looked like they put like a lot of their budget into everything. I mean, it was crazy. It looked amazing. It was one of the most entertaining shows. Um... Yeah, I, I believe that the first three, well, I believe that the three seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead is on Netflix, actually, so if you haven't watched it, you should, because it's really an insane show. It doesn't take itself too seriously. It's You have to suspend reality from your brain, because the show is what it was made for. It was entertaining. It entertained you. It didn't take itself too seriously, but it did have everything that a show should have had. It had the story. It had the acting. It had special effects. 
it had all of these great things that came together. Um, so, um, yeah, check it out. It's amazing. It's great. And each season got progressively better, which really sucks because now with the cliffhanger of the third season and you're like, oh my god, the, the fourth season had so much potential. And um, it, that really sucks that they didn't um, continue the show. So, there's my review on Ash vs. Evil Dead, the TV show, um, from the Stars Network. So, until next, guy, t next time, guys, if you like my review, just like, subscribe, comment, um, or reply to all your comments if you've seen the show. If you want to talk about the characters or anything like that or what could happen, you know, it would be awesome. So, have a great night, guys.